see where it leads. So without further ado, let's jump in with the 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, fact, facts, facts. Fact number one, Quasar is actually a short name for quasi-stellar radio sources. They actually belong to a family of objects which are together known as the active galactic nuclei. Of all the objects in the AGN, the quasars are the most distant and most energetic center of the 
inside the jets travel at nearly the speed of light, making them visible from a very long distance. jets that shoot out far into the space give rise to a phenomenon known as dragon D-R-A-G-N or double radio source active galactic nucleus that's a bit of a mouthful I can see why they shortened it this happens because the jets that shoot out from the quasar slam into intergalactic medium that exists between two galaxies. Fact number 12. This collision of the jets with the intergalactic medium gives rise to massive hotspots which are known as dragons.
or taking the case of ULAS J1120 plus 0641. The light of that particular quasar travelled a distance of 29 billion light years. Fact number 18. Quasars are the oldest known objects in the universe. They give an insight of our universe. Fact number 19. Quasars eventually die. This happens when the supermassive black hole consumes all the matter of the accretion disk and there is nothing left for it to feed on. Fact number 20. Perhaps our Milky Way once hosted a quasar now it is dead. If the central supermassive black hole that sits at the very center of our galaxy comes to life once again, our Milky Way can once again host a quasar. This is not going to happen anytime soon. The only possibility of this happening is when Andromeda Galaxy, the nearest neighbor to our Milky Way, collides with our galaxy some 3.5, 3 to 5 billion years from now. Pack number 21. In general, a quasar with a black hole of 1 to 10 million solar masses will consume 1 solar mass a year. According to NASA, only so much matter per unit of time is present for a black hole that it is capable of consuming. So for a 1 to 10 million solar mass black hole, only 1 to 10 million solar mass of matter will be available for consumption and hence the life of a quasar with a 1 to 10 million solar mass black hole. a quasar can have a lifespan of a few million years to a few billion years depending on the size of the supermassive black hole. Today's largest known quasar burn mass every year that is equivalent to the mass of 1000 suns. Putting that in terms of Earth, these largest quasars eat up mass equivalent 600 Earths every single day. Fact number 22. Most of the galaxies that we know today once hosted quasars during their early life. Gradually, as the mass falling into their central supermassive black holes got depleted, their energy output reduced over time and eventually the quasars died leaving behind the ordinary galaxies. Fact number 23. The first quasar that was discovered was in 1950 and was named as 3C273. As of date, nearly 200,000 quasars have been discovered. Fact number 24. Quasars are called quasars because they are detected using radio telescopes. With a normal optical telescope, a quasar would look like a normal bright star. The difference between a quasar and a star is difficult to identify even with the Hubble Space Telescope. A normal star will perhaps be years away, but a quasar will be millions or billions of light years away. Fact number 25. 
for future videos, feel free to let me know.